Hello my bumblebees, it's me, I am on YouTube. I know, who would have thought? Not me. No, definitely not me. Yes, I've had this account for like three to four months already and haven't posted anything before this, but at least I'm here now, right? You're either here because you know me from TikTok, Alia Reads, my OG, my OG, BookTok, BookTok community, we're branching out, or you've clicked on this thinking that you're gonna get a cool, calm, and collected booktuber. I am sorry to correct you, I'm neither calm or collected, but I am cool. This series is going to probably be like three, four parts. Because if you don't already know from the title of this video, we are talking about The Cruel Prince. The Focal Vare series, but we're starting with The Cruel Prince. So um, let me just grab it. Okay. So we already know that there's the trilogy. And then like this little... Is it a novella? I don't know. And we're starting with the first book in the trilogy, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Huge, huge spoiler warning. These will have spoilers in it and this is me shit talking. Literally shit talking um, this book. So I love you Holly Black. Jude is a twin to a selfish, conniving bitch. Also known as Taryn, right? Is that her name? I don't remember. They're taken as children Jude and her twin sister uh, by Vivian's dad, who I think is also her, their sister. I can't keep up. When they're like really young, they're now 19. And this medic dude was creepy from the get go. Creepy creepsters. Like the creepiest creepsters you would know. Like why is this old man taking these two like nine year olds? A little bit creepy, a little bit, mm, you know what I mean? Who on the world? Alia does. I always hear about this on BookTok and they're like, Oh, people always go into this thinking it's an enemies to lovers romance, but it's a political book. It's a political book. And is not an enemies to lovers romance, guys? It's, that's not what it's about. If I wanted something political, I'd turn on the news. I would literally turn on the news. No, 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 no. But I read it anyway because I read it before book talk and... Kylan's a dickhead. We all know that. But he's the prince. We all know that. And it's not like, oh, he's just teasing Jude. No, 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 he tries to murder her on multiple occasions. So like, as we know, Jude and Taryn are humans in a fairy world because they were taken as children by that creepy medic guy, Madoc. So the only way that these Lady Ludus, they can stay in fairy as humans is they either have to marry a fairy or they have to become a knight and compete in this like summer tournament. And obviously Jude doesn't want to marry a freaking fairy because she's living her life. But Taryn's like, let me take, let me take the easy route of marrying some fairy dude. And Jude's like, I'm gonna be a bad bitch. And I'm gonna do this summer tournament and I'm gonna become a knight. So initially they're pretty much selling their bodies in different ways to stay in fairy because Taryn is selling her body for sex, which is like, oh, oh. <laughs> and then Jude is selling out her body to be stabbed. And I would definitely choose one of those compared to coming back to the human world. What's here? What's here? Uh, absolutely not. Carden. What a name, by the way. What a name. Jude is a bad bitch name, though. Maybe out here, I'm just trying to stop Jude from doing the summer tournament because I know that she's going to die if she does the summer tournament. And how does he, how does he go about it? How, he doesn't go, oh, you know what, Jude, I don't think you should do this. He tries to drown her. And Taryn comes about and goes, oh, can you stop drowning her? And he goes, if you kiss both of my cheeks. So not only is he a murderer, he's like, um, I don't know about this. Mm, I don't know about this. Because we're supposed to be loving him. And he's doing this shit. Not even halfway through the book. I'm scared. Why is Jude and Vivi just like going to the mall in the middle of this book? Why? Just like, oh, let me pop to the mall in the human world. Huh? Don't you have to like 
trying to be a knight or something so you don't freaking die? So then Jude is recruited by Prince Dane, who is third born or something. Oh God. Prince Dane asked Jude to be his spy. Let's talk about how they gave Jude that potion that she ate through eating an apple and Cardin wants her to kiss his feet. But he's got this look of guilt and I don't care what he has. What is he doing? Weirdo. Then we know that Cardin pokes one of Jude's finger to get that poison out of her. And then Locke kisses all five of Jude's fingers. Like, reminds me of that Fifty Shades of Grey scene. You know, when they're like, let's clean you up. This isn't Fifty Shades of Grey, my babes. Not at all. Jude comes into the house of where like um, Prince Dane lives and just finds like Harden being whipped. Like I know like Harden is traumatized, which is why he acts out obviously, but like, damn, damn. But like I get that, you know, trauma does bring that up, but doesn't mean what he does is all right. But, like you can start to understand him where his anger's coming from. He can't take it out on his brother. So he has to take it out on someone else who's weaker than him. Guys, Jude just eats poisonous fruit. So if she is fed poisonous fruit, then she'll be able to resist it. Which is kind of smart. She's a smart galley. She's smart. Yeah, and that Valerian, is that his name? Valerian just trying to kill Jude? Jude's just trying to live her best life. And then they go to that party. Like Jude, Jude just like, okay, th that happened. I'm gonna go to the party though with Locke. Kisses Locke. And then just watches Cardin kiss like five different girls. I love it. I love that sex party vibe, but like YA edition. As I'm editing this video, I'm realizing that <laughs> I'm realizing that this kind of seems like a fan fiction of After. Cardin is Harden, and obviously Tessa is Jude. Because what the freak? And then Dane's like, you have to prove your loyalty by stabbing yourself in the hand. She's like, say less. <laughs> okay. And then Jude just becomes this murdering machine and just pops off and murders everyone because YOLO. Hashtag girl power. Like there's a lot of killing. Fuck wealthy white men. Blah, blah, blah. Jude's sister is a sneaky little bitch because she knew all along, even though she watched Locke and Jude start getting close. Taryn was like, and he's gonna be mine in the end, but I'm not gonna tell her. I'm just gonna be a sneaky little bitch. And that's what she did. But we get a little sexy scene, guys. I hope I'm not speaking out of term. But Jude's like, you know what? I'm gonna hold a dagger up to Cardin's throat and then just start making out with him because, you know, macking on is the way to go. Especially with a dagger to the throat because that's sexy, right? I don't know, it got a little bit hot in the room, I think. The ending was like, whoa, the power plays, the power plays, bang, boom, boom, bam, boom, bam. And it just proved that, again, Taryn is a little shithead. And then, like, at the really end, you just have, like, Vivi and Jude just going to Target. Like, it's a, it's a normal day. So, and that's how the freaking first book ends. Crazy nutters, I say. I can't even believe I actually read them, but I did. And that's the first part of the Cool Prince video series parts I'm doing. Next video is probably not gonna be The Wicked King. I'll probably try and switch it up a little bit so we can be talking about more than just one series. And also, you know, do some fun quirky videos as well. But if you did like this video, remember to subscribe, like, and comment. I feel like it went really fast. 